In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do a year end on zero in just about five minutes. Getting your books in order as the year wraps up is crucial for every business, and using zero makes this process smoother and more efficient. Whether you're a seasoned pro or new to zero, this guide will walk you through the essential steps to ensure you're ready for the new financial year. First things first, let's navigate to the Zero homepage. Open your preferred web browser and type in the Zero website URL or simply search for Zero in your search engine. Once the page loads, you'll find yourself on the homepage of one of the most powerful accounting software platforms available today. Now look towards the top right corner of the page and you'll see the login button. Click on that button to proceed to the next step. This is your gateway to all the powerful features Xero has to offer. So let's move on quickly. You will now be prompted to enter your email and passwords. These credentials are the keys to your financial kingdom. So make sure you input them correctly. Take a moment to double check your details before moving forward to avoid any unnecessary hiccups. After entering your login information, go ahead and click on the login button. You'll be whisked away into your Xero dashboard, a place where all your financial information lives and breathes. Here you can access a myriad of tools and features designed to make accounting as painless as possible. With your dashboard open, it's time to focus on the year-end process. Navigate to the accounting section within Xero. You can find this either on the top menu or sometimes as part of a drop-down menu, depending on any updates or changes Xero may have implemented. This section is where your financial journey for the year end begins. Once you're in the accounting section, look for the advanced option. It might not jump out at you immediately, so take your time to locate it. The advanced section houses many of Xero's more sophisticated features, which are essential for the year end process. In the advanced settings, your next stop is the financial settings option. This is where the magic happens for setting up your year end. Clicking on this will bring up a range of financial settings options that you can configure to match your business needs. Now you'll want to change the financial year end date. This is an essential step because it signals to zero when your financial year concludes and the next one begins. It's remarkable how such a simple setting adjustment can have significant ramifications on your financial reporting. Once you have selected the new financial year end date, make sure to click on save. This action will cement your changes, effectively setting your business up for the upcoming year. Remember, this step is crucial. Failing to save your changes is like forgetting to save a document after hours of work. All that effort goes to waste. And there you have it. You've successfully navigated to the financial settings within Xero and adjusted your financial year-end date. These steps, while straightforward, are critical in preparing your business for the year-end closing process. By ensuring that your financial year-end date is accurately set in zero, you're laying down the groundwork for flawless financial reporting. Before I sign off, here's a little extra tip. Always review your financial settings a few times a year, not just at the year-end. This habit can help you stay on top of changes in your business structure or tax obligations that might necessitate adjustments in zero. This wraps up our quick guide on how to do a year-end on zero. Whether you're prepping for tax season, closing your books for the year, or simply trying to get a better handle on your financial reporting, the steps we've covered today are fundamental. Remember, staying on top of your financial year-end process not only keeps you compliant, um, but also gives you incredible insights into your business performance over the past year. So take the time, follow these steps, and set your business up for success in the coming financial year.